everyone in this video i'm going to show you how you set up a document in uh, mla format so after watching the video titled formatting an essay where i review all of the rules in the slides presentation we are going to apply those rules in this example and i'm going to show you how you set up your document so one of the rules is that your document needs to be double spaced. So in order to accomplish that, you're going to go to the toolbar, which is the tools that are listed where file is and where the undo arrow and all of this is. So to set our paper to double space, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to format. We're going to scroll down to line spacing and then we're going to click on double. So once you click on double, this is going to double space your entire paper. Next, we're going to set our font and font size to the correct um, expectations based upon MLA. So whenever you open a document, the settings are set to Arial and size 11. What we want is Times New Roman and we want our font to be size 12. Now, I also mentioned how your paper needs to be set to an 8.5 by 11 measurement, and it needs to be set to one inch margins. Again, this is done automatically for you, but in order to make sure that this is done correctly, all you have to do is click on File. You're going to go to Page Setup, and it will show you here the paper size, which is 8.5 by 11. It's going to be set to portrait orientation, and here are the margins. So you'll see that each one of these margins is set to one inch, so we don't have to do anything. This is the default setting. Next, we need to label our paper. So to do this, what you are going to do in the upper left-hand corner, so this is where you begin typing, you're going to put your name. Now, often people don't pay attention or listen to me in this video and they literally put name in their document. That is not what you do. You put down your name. So if your name was Rebecca Griffith, you would put Rebecca Griffith here. If your name is something else, you put down what your name is. Next, we're going to hit enter. So we come directly underneath where it has your name and we're gonna put the class. So our class is Honors English 1. Next, you list the instructor. So you're going to put Miss Griffith. And lastly, you're gonna put the date. So today's date is November 13th. 2020. Whenever you list the date, make sure that you spell out the date that you don't put 11-13-20. You have to spell out the entire date and make sure you put a comma after the day. So you always put a comma after 13 or whatever number it is. Then you're going to press enter. Directly underneath the date, you're going to put your title, but your title of your paper has to be put into the center of the page. So to do this, you are going to go back to your toolbar and you're going to look at where these lines are and you're going to hover over this until you click on center align. Sometimes if your document or your web page is zoomed in, this won't all be on the toolbar. There will be like this symbol plus an arrow. You just click on the arrow and then it's going to drop down here and give you the rest of these tools. So that's what you do and you click on center align and it's gonna put you directly in the center of the page. Do not try to do your own shortcut with this by pressing tab several times or pressing the space bar until it looks like it's in the center of the page. Click on the button for center alignment. So then you're going to title your paper. So this is an example of MLA format. Then you're gonna press enter. It's going to keep you in center alignment, so you need to go back to your left alignment. If you stay in center alignment, your paper is going to be incorrect, and you're not going to be able to indent your paragraphs correctly or do anything 
in the correct MLA format. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to start typing your essay. So to start typing your essay, you need to remember that every paragraph is indented. So you click tab once and it indents your paper over and then you would just start typing. So once you start typing, your page is going to look like this. So let's put a tab here. So this is indented correctly. And this is what an MLA style paper looks like. This isn't very difficult. It's just a lot of rules that you need to apply. But once you do this several times, you're not even going to think about this and you'll do it automatically. Now, there were other rules in this um, in that slides presentation that you also need to follow and they are described right here. Whenever you write an essay, you need to make sure you're following the rules set for you based upon MLA handbook. You need to label your um, paper like I showed you how into the first line of each paragraph. Type in Times New Roman size 12 font. Also, you need to make sure that you write in a formal tone. That means you do not use I statements or use contractions. So again, all of the rules that we discussed in this slides presentation are applied here and this is how you set up your document. Um, you will set this up yourself here in a few minutes so that you can um, practice this before we do our first essay. So you will have an assignment based upon this so I can show, so I can see that you know how to do it. But watch this video again if you are confused or if you need additional help.